Good day, folks. Uh, Proverbs chapter 8 and 9, as I said yesterday, as well, I'm bouncing a little bit in and between these two chapters because we're coming to chapter 10, where we start with the Proverbs of Solomon. So these are the last few devotions on, on wisdom. And so in chapter 9, interesting that he speaks about uh, some things that I just want to touch on. He says in verse 6, leave your simple ways and you will find life. Walk in the way of understanding. In other words, the writer is saying to leave your folly. The word simple here in other translations is foolishness or folly. Leave your folly. Leave your simple ways is actually leave your foolish ways and you will live. You know, again, we are encouraged to apply God's word in our life. It is only God's word. It is only the truth that God has given through the ages, right from the beginning of the creation of the world, that God has given us the wisdom. Later, he says, the woman of folly is loud. In other words, unwise people unwise things are loud. They're coming to us all the time. We are tempted and tested to be unwise all the time. It is loud. She sits at the door of her house on the seat of um, the highest point of the city, calling out to those who pass by, let all who are simple come here. That's what she says to those who lack judgment. So the unwise um, the, the opposite of wisdom, the, the, the unwise is calling us, unwise statements, unwise lifestyle, unwise people is calling us. It's like the woman is sitting folly, uh, sitting loudly calling out to us and say, come to me and find your destruction with me as well. He says, yeah, you know, that those who are... Um, um, Wise need to leave their simple, need to leave their foolishness, need to shun this foolishness, needs to run away from it, needs to run towards truth. And we're living in a world, folks, where we cannot discern truth. We're living in a world where everything is gray. We're living in a world where everything is true. It depends on your perception. And it's not. It is destroying us day by day. We're being destroyed. God's word is very clear. The truth is only found. Absolute truth is only found in him. And I pray that you and I will find that in Jesus' name, Father. Help us to run from folliness, from stupidness, and run towards wisdom, which we find in you, in Jesus' name. Amen.